Hey, Blanky, how are you, girl? Hey, how are you? Good evening. Good evening, Blanky. How are Sorry. you? <laughs> That's okay. No problem. I didn't activate the, the audio just, just right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry about it. Josh is, is also uh, joined today's class, so that's good. Oh, it's gonna yeah. be a girl. Oh, no, no. I was about to let you know there's gonna be a girl today, but no, because Andres is just about to log in already. And Will and also, so we're good on that. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, how was your day today? Um, Blanky, what do you do? Finally, Blanky or Fernando. Fernando is joined to this class. Yes. Today was a, uh, a very tough day. A I tough think. day? Why? Yeah. I I have to drive uh, to different places and different take, places? I take size. Uh, I have to take size because uh, what I sell is clothes. Clothes. Uh -huh. and, and we make the clothes, the clothes. Ah. So we have to, to take the size of the people that want to make the uniforms. So ah, okay. I travel to a two, a two, in two, in two. I don't know, two different places? Yeah, but it was uh, far from, from that. So oh, okay. Higher. Oh, I can't imagine, especially because I don't know what's, what happened, but nowadays the travel is horrible. Ugh. Oh my God, and, and the weather, it's awful. Oh my yes. God, my, yes, yes. my AC, I don't know how to say in English, but my AC. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, yes, AC. It doesn't work. So, really? Yeah, I, I, I suffer a lot because of that. It, it, and it doesn't work because they need like to fill in or it's not it, mm. it's not cool it in a lot or properly yeah, it, it, i don't know how to say fuga have a fuga ah uh, okay he has like a it's, it's turn it off oh That's my god i don't know hey, sorry for that yeah i i, I have to, to to go and fix it yeah they, yeah they you, have, you should they, they have to uh, double check that. Check all the system of the AC, uh -huh. AC and system, look, yeah, and look what it happens with it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, there's a place there in um in Merliat, down down the mold that maybe will be really good if you can double check there. Maybe maybe the the other week. I can take the, the car to to check because yep. that's my week off, so. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh, but that, you should ask because I think there will be some, some uh, places that they're not going to work the whole week or just the first days or that it depends. I, I, uh -huh. I think not all the, not all the places uh, take all the week because uh -huh. they always take I don't know, 15 days for for employee. Mm -hmm. And and I hope to to find somewhere. Yeah, you should double check the leakage. Leakage. It is what you said a uh, fuga in English. Uh leakage. Yeah, I will I will write it right now. Um yes. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Leakage. Uh, that is fuga and like uh, gotera, uh, filtration, something like that. It's, it's related to that. Mm -hmm. All righty. And it's a substantive. I have to let you know. Okay. That. Thank you. You're welcome. All righty. And, and escape is when you like, when you physically move and like disappear, right? That is a different thing. <laughs> All righty. I want to disappear. <laughs> you want to disappear? <laughs> you gonna want to go to vacations? <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Hey. So thank you so much for sharing today's activity, Blanky. We have also Josuecito. I have missed you yesterday. Where, where have you been? I was working. At, you were uh, working? Great, great oh my God. Are you, are, are you still working? 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, Mike. At what time did you, uh, do you finish today? Uh, 11. At 11? Yeah. <sighs> but you're still from work. I mean, you're not at home. You, you were directly on the site. I, yeah, I work in operation for that reason. Yes. Ah, yes, I, I yeah, remember that you have let me know that. But do yeah. they give you like a transportation or no? Or you have your own transportation? No, I I work in a, a X-ray machine. Uh -huh. it's, uh, scanning the trucks, the containers, uh -huh. vehicles. But when you finish at 11, uh, do you go to your house, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you drive or do you have like a private transportation? No, I today I going to, to drive, but our company pay for provides pay. provides like a transportation. Yeah, provides. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's nice. You know what I don't like about that is that depends on the route. Sometimes you could be the first one. Sometimes you could be the last ones. Imagine that. Yeah, that had happened to my husband. I remember that he was uh, used to work uh, like similar to you, but he was in the IT area uh, in the route of um, the airport, the airport highway. So basically sometimes when they close, they had finished at 11, 11.30 and he was arriving home or sometimes at noon, no, not noon, no, at midnight. <laughs> So it depends, wow. right? Yeah. And there were some like some other co-workers that they live in, they used to live in Soyapango. So can you imagine? Like, I think they arrive almost at 1 p.m. 1 a.m. So it depends <laughs> on the route. Yeah, it's really tough. Yeah, especially the closest days. Oof, no way. I so I understand. Well, but I'm so happy that even though you're still working, you have a login. So I'm really, really happy to see you guys. Yeah. I know you you're doing an extra effort. And I really appreciate that. Now, tell me something. Today, guys, I will, we're going to develop one skill, which I consider that is really, really important to continue developing that because some of you, or most of you have requested that. So I, I, I want guys, please to turn it on your cameras because I wanna see your beautiful faces. Yeah, okay. Come on, I wanna see your faces. I wanna see your beautiful faces. Uh-huh. Teacher, I'm driving, but- Ah, you're driving. No, so in your case is different. In your okay. case is different. Don't worry. Your case is different. Yoshi, Thank welcome. You. Fernandito, Madeline, Jervin, Blanquita. Andresito is safe. Doris, William. I will. Uh-huh. I wanna see your faces, guys. Give me some minutes because I am attending uh, to, uh, something here in my ah, house. Okay, of course, I, if this is the case, that's okay, no problem. All right, guys. Uh, I remember that you're you're going to work during the um, well. You have been working every day, and also hopefully you're going to work on the last activity for this model, which is going to be um, the management plan. Remember, you're working on the management plan. We have discussed about communication management, uh, crisis plan, etc. And uh, I'm gonna give you guys an extra information and extra tips and uh, an extra vocabulary that I consider that is really, really important that you must know in regards to that, because basically it will help you to develop that. But at the same time, uh, you will need also to take into consideration what we are going to see today, uh, especially in communication. So today, um, we're going to do a lot of speaking, but at the same time, a lot of listening. A lot, a lot of you had requested listening activities. Teacher, we need listening, we need listening. That is 
uh, one of the things that we needed because we need to like develop that. Definitely we will, okay? We're going to do a lot of listening today so we can develop that. Um, but let me ask you something. Let's do something. Um, guys, communication, do you think that communication is just um, what you say or what you write? What do you think? Is that the only communication? Or you can communicate something without saying a word. What do you think? Without express anything. Can you communicate something? Yes. I, yeah, right? Yeah. With, with, your, with the way you act, with your facial expressions, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. So let me, let me double check if you know what I'm talking about. Let me do something. Okay. I want you guys to let me, know. I'm going to do some, some gestures and I want you guys to let me know what do you think they might or, or, yeah, or they may remember. Yeah, you can use model verse as well. Uh, means, okay. If I'm doing this, what do you think it means? Crazy. Crazy. Uh -huh. What about this? I don't know. Uh, uh -huh. What about this? I can hear you. Uh -huh. I can hear you. Uh, what about uh, <laughs> what about this? Playing to listen. What? No, I'm not doing pupus. I don't care. <laughs> what? Doesn't matter. Matter. Doesn't matter. I don't care. Mm. It's not my problem. It's not my fault. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Maybe, maybe it's a possibility. And if I say this, come on, come on. <laughs> okay, you can say. Uh -huh. Fernando says to his uh, to his wife, "Come on, baby girl." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When, when he's like that, she she, she already understands what he's talking about, right? <laughs> All righty. Or for example, and uh, if I said, let me double check this. Quiet. 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 Silence. Uh huh. Okay. I think Hi. these ones is, is they're like a little bit easy, but I'm going to show you something. And I want, and I, okay, right now, what I want you to, to let me know is not the adjective that describes the action. I just want to let, to, to, that you let me know how do you said that expression in English? That's what I want. So allow me just a couple of minutes. Let's see. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What? Okay. The first one is like this, right? Is this? I don't know if you have that mania, but in my case, yes. Sometimes when I'm thinking about something, right? When I'm worried about, sometimes I'm doing like this. Y casi me quedo calva. But like this, what? How do you say the first in English? How do you say this in English? How do you say that? Uh -huh. Crazy. No, that's this is crazy. Ah, yes. But, but look what I'm doing with my with my hair. Look what I'm no. doing with my hair. Confused. I don't know. You are rolling your hair. Uh, uh -huh, yes. I don't want you guys to let me know the adjective that describes the action. We're going to see that later. But I just want that you let me know that. What, how do you say this in English? That I'm doing Anxious. this. Supposing. Maniac. That is a mania. I know. I know. No. But I, I just want you to let me know how do you say that action in English? Uh-huh. No? How do you say that? Roll your hair. Uh, uh, uh. Tringling, tringling my hair. Tringling. Postrader? No. Listen carefully. Mm. Tringling. Tringling oh, my hair. Tringling. 
drinking. Yeah, would you like me to write it for you? Yes. Maybe confused. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because you do this when you are not sure about something, you are no, thinking no, no. about it, something that. It, no, but Joshi, I just perfect. ask. I just ask. Mm -hmm. Don't don't let me know that the adjective that describes the action. That's what I said. I don't want the adjective. I want how do you say that action in English? That's what I want. Okay. When you while you're telling me right now that you don't know what to do, that is the adjective. Where you, so for example, you could be frustrated, right, about something. So I don't want the adjective. I just want you let me know how do you say this action in English. So how do you say that action? What is that? Oh, boy. Thrilling, thrilling my, okay, thrilling my, my hair. Okay, so I wanted to put you that. Do you know that expression, Freddy's? No. Oh, you see, so you're learning your vocabulary. Really, my hair. Let's see if I read it correctly. Yeah, yeah, I do. There you go. Really, my hair. Okay. Let's move to the second one, right? Let's go back. T W. T W I R L I N G. So it's. Really, my hair. What is it? True. Really. You do not, yeah, you do not pronounce it out really. What about this? Look at my nose. Something smells bad. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, yeah. That could be the meaning, right? The meaning, the adjective. Yeah. But I want I just want you to let me know how do you say that action in English? When you move your nose like this. How do you say that in English? No, no, guys, listen, listen carefully. No, no, Doris, I don't want an adjective. I don't want the adjective that describes okay. the action. I just want yeah. you to let me know how do you say that action in English? How do you say it? Uh, how do you say that, for example? In English? Shaking the nose? No, shaking is like, woohoo. Okay. That's different. Or like milkshake, right? Or like a bartender, right? Like a bartender. Yeah, but that is not the way that the, the verb that you use to like move your nose like this. How do you say that in English? No, no idea. No. No. Okay, I'm gonna send it to you right now. I'm gonna. I have it here. Do, 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 do. Ah, yes, that's that's different. <laughs> That's a different one. But in the picture, it looks like he's in, <laughs> he's in the bathroom. Yeah, uh -huh. yes. <laughs> yeah, that is the adjective, right? That could describe the action. But you see, wrinkling, wrinkling my nose, wrinkling. Like this, that is wrinkling. Now, this one is thrilling, right? Thrilling. And this one is wrinkling. In the second one, yes, you use the W. Is it brand new for you guys? Like yeah? when you ring or something. Uh -huh. yes. All right. What about the letter C? Like sometimes Mr. Freddy does. Uh-huh, exactly. Do it again, <laughs> do it again, Freddy. Uh-huh, look at Freddy. He's like, eh. Like when you're thinking about something like, eh. Yeah. All right. So how do you say that in English? When you're like doing like this and you move your light your eyes when you move your eyes uh-huh move, move your eyes freddy no oh, move man. it like uh-huh how do you say that guys uh-huh i'm you don't know i'm going to put you right now rolling rolling my eyes remember remember <laughs> adele song rolling in the dip rolling my eyes because you're rolling you're putting like you move your eyes what about like that rolling your eyes is when you move it like uh-huh uh-huh could be yeah what about this anxious no no remember friends uh, yeah, i don't yeah, want yeah, adjective yeah, yeah. you're going to tell me then later on but what i'm doing 
Biting her. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm biting, you're right. Biting by what? Your nails. My nails, exactly, my nails. So you can say, biting my nails. All right. Now let me do something. Uh huh. What about this? I know it's not that I'm a monkey, right? It's... What am I doing? You're scratching your head. Scratching. How you spell that? How you spell that? Let me see. S A S C. Uh huh. E R R A. Uh huh. B H. T H D H. You're no, missing one letter. C H C H. Okay, so you said S C R A T and then C H H I G. Very good. Scratching my head. All right, there you go. Good, good one. What about this one? Take a look at letter E. You are watching your clothes, sorry, you are looking at your watch, right? And then you're doing like this, but with your foot. What Enjoy. is that action? No, of, no, I don't want the adjective ready. I just oh, want yeah. that you describe me the action. I want, how do you say that in English? When you are like, hmm, and then you are like moving your foot like this. How do you say that in English? Uh -huh. How do you say that? It is, I will it's, give you a tip. It's like a, a, a kind of dance. Like Charles Chaplin tapping. used to do that. Tapping. Tapping. Tape. Very good. Taping? No, tapping. Tapping. Tapping my what? Tapping my foot. Remember, if you do that, it's clap. Tap. If you do that with the foot, it's stop. Tap. Remember? Like the dance, right? If you do this, snap. Exactly. All right. And the last one, let's see what we have. Uh, 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 uh. I think I already have that. Yeah, everything. Okay, cool. So let's practice, okay? Let's practice. Hey, what am I doing? Wriggling your nose. Well, uh -huh. you... What am I doing? You're wriggling your nose. Very good. What am I doing? Rolling your eyes. Uh huh. What am I doing? Biting your nails. Uh huh. What am I doing? You're Good. fantastic. Rolling your hair. Uh huh. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Tapping your foot. Tapping my foot. Um. Let's see. What uh, What am I doing? Scratching your head. What does it mean? Be quiet. Mm -hmm. What it does it mean? Listen. Uh huh. What does it mean? Come over here. <laughs> Come over here, baby. Come, Come over here, baby. What does it mean? Crazy. Yeah. What does it mean? I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. And what does it mean? Bye bye. <laughs> no, that is bye bye. bye, -bye. Done with it. You're done with it. You finished. That might be. Finish. Or like Pilato, right? I wash my hands. You wash your it, hands. it could be many things, right? So when I'm doing all this mimic and all this gestures, blah 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 blah, is because I was I was talking all uh, with your with the guys before you joined today's class that. Um, I will give you like an extra information, extra vocabulary for you to work in your management plan and your communication crisis management plan as well. Because when you're doing that, you will need to take into consideration a lot of things. Because communication is just not throwing out words or writing some information. Communication is, is such a big thing, guys that you can communicate a lot of things without saying any, any kind of sound or any kind of word. That's what that's so, exactly. So it's really, really important that you like increase your vocabulary and, and learn how to read, 
how to read other people's reactions, other people's face expressions, etc. That's what I was asking you if you know that, how to say that in English, or if you know the definition. Now, yes. I just, now, I, now, since you already know how to say that in English, I just want you know to help me how, what kind of adjective would you use to describe that that person's like reaction? Now, yes, now, now I want that. So let me go back and join and share my screen with them. And okay, the first one, wrinkling, right? Wrinkling the hair. What adjective would you use to describe that? What communicates that to you? If you if you see a person doing like this, what do you think that person might feel? It depends. Uh huh. It depends. For example, uh huh. Because I've seen i seen some girls doing that when they when they like like a like a a man or uh huh a girl yeah it could be yeah. they could they could be nervous right okay but what else yeah. what else could mean. Maybe impatient. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Look, I, I I brought you guys some some adjectives that you can use. You see, we have it. There's here. It's here. You can use one of them if you would like to. Okay, you come up with a different one. All right. What about the second one? When I'm doing this to my nose, what could that mean? What adjective can I use to describe that action? Maybe something smells bad, or you have an allergy. Uh huh. Uh, do Gust. you like something? Gust. You're like this caster, right? Maybe. Or when you're doing like this, like rolling your eyes, what could that mean? It means like you don't care. Uh huh. Or maybe you're bored. Yeah. Uh huh. Like, let's say someone's talking to you and you don't want to listen to them. Mm -hmm. You're bored. You're like, oh yeah, whatever. I could be annoyed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about this one? When you're biting your nails, what could that mean, so guys? Fernando, Nervous. Francisco, uh huh. Nervous. Nervous. Uh huh. It could be frustrated. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That could be right. Could be. Uh, it could be confused. Maybe. What about letter E? Yeah. When you're tapping your foot, and you're you're double checking your watch. Impatient. 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 What else? Annoyed? You could be annoyed, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Very good. And when you're scratching your head? Maybe have some fleas. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, could be. But let's pretend that it's nothing to do with physical things. <laughs> it could confused. be that you're frustrated. confused, frustrated. What else? Exhausted. Exhausted, maybe. Nervous. You see? Nervous. Yes. Uh -huh. So you know what? Depends of the uh, environment that that person is, or depends of our own perspective, it could mean different things, right? You could communicate different things, depend of each point of view, right? So you see what, how it's important to like, try to like not only guess, but understands other people behavior that is part of communication. And that guys, it helps, it will helps you a lot or it, you should take it into consideration when you are um, creating your management plan, when you're creating your communication crisis management plan, there's a lot of things that you need to involve because the communication is really, really a huge thing. It's not just reduce it to verbal or writing things. So that's why it's really important. And that's why I'm taking right now time to provide it to you an extra information that you will need to consider to do what you're supposed to do when you're coming back from vacation, right? <laughs> now, guys, do me a favor. We're going to increase more our vocabulary besides try to like understand other people's behavior or communication with their gestures, with their physical situation, etc. I just want you guys to increase your vocabulary in relates to like um, adjectives, okay? Hey, by, by the way, do me a favor before we move on. What is an adjective? Now that we're talking about that, 
let's remember our language subject like long time ago because it's a, it, it exactly does the same function in Spanish as in English. What is an adjective? Who can give me a definition about an adjective? The adjective is describe. Describes what? Yes, very good, Doris. Describes right. what? Uh, quality. The what? The quality. What? Okay, cool. The, the person or, or animal or, or Exactly. Describes a place, an animal, uh, or a thing. Yeah. So describes what? A verb, a number, a subject. A subject. a subject. A subject. Exactly. Very good. The difference is in English that remember that the adjective in English goes before the subject or after the subject in English. Before the subject. Before or after. Before. before. Uh huh. We, we, do, do we say red blouse or blouse red? Red, red, red blouse. blouse. Exactly. Red blouse. Exactly. In English, it's different, right? In Spanish, the, the adjective goes after the subject, right? We said, we don't say it, um, azul carro. We said carro azul, right? Azul, right? Mm. In Spanish. But in English, it's the opposite way. So just think about it, the position of the adjective in a sentence. However, guys, um, there's a lot of adjectives, but uh, what the adjectives that I will present to you right now, it is related to people's behavior and also communications. So what I want you to help me is to do only this. I just want you guys to take a look at the adjectives that, I that I'm about to present to you. And I just want your help and tell me if it's a positive adjective or it's a negative adjective. Regards personality, of course, because these adjectives that I will present it to you, they're related to personality. Okay. So, so I just need your help. Tell me, is it positive or negative adjective? That's all that I need. Got it? So just allow me a couple of minutes more. Let me share right now my screen. And I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, right? It's much better, bigger. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. All right. So. Okay, cool. I have it here. We have a lot of them. Maybe there are some of them that you already know. Maybe uh, some of them will be brand new for you, but I just want your help. Okay, do me a favor. Creative. Is it a positive or negative one? Positive. positive. What positive. about, uh, very good. What about critical? Could be both. Negative. Could be both? Yeah. Depends, right? Yeah. Okay, because it could be positive or negative. Depends. All right, what about disorganized? Negative. 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 All right. Efficient. Positive. 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 Okay, everybody is, is agree that it's positive? Yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. What about forgetful, like Mr. Freddy sometimes? Negative. <laughs> it could be positive or negative. Depends yeah, it, for your own convenience. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but we can say that it is more negative than positive. What do you think, guys? Yes, it, it relates to environment. Negative. It relates to environment uh, situation, okay? Yeah. Workplace. Workplace environment, Freddie, okay? Work, let's live it in workplace. The report. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so if related to work, if you're forgetful, that's worst. In related to other things, yeah, it could be positive. <laughs> All righty, let's put it negative right now. What about generous? Positive. Is it positive? Positive. positive. Okay, what about hardworking? Positive. Positive, yeah, definitely. What about impatient? Negative. 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 That's for negative. sure negative, right? All right. What about level-headed? You know what level-headed is? That means... Can you explain it? Wait, you know what level-headed is? No. Is somebody that is really sensitive? Negative. Is it ne negative. Is, yeah, it could be negative or positive. Yes. Depends. For me, negative. 
No, because it's, it's uh, sensitive, but at the same time, that person is calm. Imagine you're, everyone could use it as, as, as a, their own convenience when you're um, level sensitive because you could get any, everything from that person that's sensitive. Depends on what type of sensibility it is. You think? Ha, uh huh. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see. That will be a homework for you. <laughs> oh my God, teacher. You're always yeah, giving me homework. Yes, for you to increase yeah, your knowledge. Uh... <laughs> what about moody? What does it mean, moody? Moody. That could be it positive, could be positive or, or negative. What do you think, guys? You know what moody is, right? Temperamental. Moody. Negative. 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 Yeah. I think it's negative. What about punctual? Positive. 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 Reliable. Positive. You know what reliable is, right? Yes. It's a person that you can trust. Yes. Short tempered. The mecha corta. Negative. Negative for sure. And a strict. Depend. Depend. <laughs> Depends on what? Yeah. And how much is the person on street? So we, could we say that we can leave it in a positive and negative way? Could be both? Mm. Or, ja or it's more positive and negative? Positive. What do you think? Positive. Positive? Okay. So let's practice the pronunciation. Got it? The first one, creative. Creative. I, 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 I want to hear you. Creative. 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 Critical. 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 Moody. Remember a uh, Toy Story? The, the, the cowboy, oh, his name is Woody, yeah, right? It's Woody. Woody. Yes, but this one is Woody. So just remember Moody. Woody and then change your G for the M and you will good. Okay? okay. So Moody. All right. Punctual. Punctual. Reliable. Reliable. Short tempered. Short tempered. Strict. 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 Because if street, you said a street, you, listen carefully. If you said a street, you're saying calle. So that, that's why I emphasize the pronunciation. The strict. 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 Remember strict. that is a C and the T. Strict. 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 That's what I need. Yes, that's why I emphasize it. Okay, now it's going to be your turn. I'm not going to say anything. I just want to hear your pronunciation, guys. Okay, what's the first one? Creative. What? Creative. Okay, continue. Creative. Critical. Okay, continue. Yeah. Disorganized. Disorganized. All right, move on. Efficient. 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 Continue. Forgetful. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Generous. Generous. Uh -huh. Hardworking. Uh -huh. Impatient. Patient. Impatient. 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 Mm -hmm. Level head. Level head out, okay? Moody. Moody. Mm -hmm. Moody. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Reliable. 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 Uh -huh. Short temper. Short temper. Uh -huh. This one? Strict. 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 Hey, that's what I need. Good. That's what I need. All right, cool. So let's play something. Okay. Let me put my chronometer. And hopefully you remember the whole adjectives that we just so okay or do, that we just have seen right now because i i want to know how many adjectives do you remember in one minute okay so allow me just a couple of minutes are you guys ready no right but that's okay you're ready okay let's do your best okay remember the one that we have seen doesn't matter if you're if you're positive doesn't matter if you're negative i don't care about that all that I need is that if you remember that, you could repeat it, okay? But hopefully not. You ready? Okay, tell me how many adjectives that we have seen. Tell me one of them. Come on, hurry up. 
Okay, let me go back and share our screen. There you go. There you go. Okay, let's double check how many of these ones you mentioned. You mentioned, let me check. I'm patient. You mentioned level headed, moody, punctual, reliable, strict, generous, forgetful, efficient, efficient, and organized. Organized, ah, yes, organized as well. Organized. You forgot efficient. creative, critical, efficient, efficient, hardworking, and short tempered. But not too bad. Very good job. Excellent job, guys. That guys, you will need to take into consideration when you're when you're doing your communication crisis plan. It's a must because that is part of the personality of the person or of the employees of your co-workers that you're going to work with. So you need to take that into consideration. So making a communication crisis plan is not as easy as it seems. There's a lot of things involved. Yeah, but I'm giving you extra information, extra vocabulary that will help you a lot, a lot. Very good. May I ask you, are some of the um, adjectives that we have seen so far, are they brand new for you? Some of them, not all of them, no but some of them. Yeah. Yeah, for example, which one is the first time that you have seen it? Um, Level-headed. Level-headed. Okay, what about short-tempered? No, I heard No, it you have it? Okay, cool. All right. Uh, anybody else? No? Moody. I, Moody. I only have heard, I only have heard mood. Like, I only have heard you what? You are. But mood. Mood. Ah, moody. Uh-huh. And there's a lot of them because adjectives we have, oof, but I have taken those because those uh, adjectives that we have seen are related to people's personalities. And that also you show it or you communicate it uh, basically in your daily basis. So that you need to take into consideration. Now, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm, well, I'm going to start the listening part right now. And basically, you're going to listen four compositions. Uh, one of them, or well, the first one is going to be a boss. The second one will be a co-worker. The third one is going to be a teacher. And the last one is going to be a relative. And I want you guys to pay attention because I want you uh, to let me know which adjective best describes each person. And we're going to do it in two ways. First of all, I'm going to just play just the audio. Just the audio. Okay? okay. And the second part, I'm going to provide it to you like a writing thing. And then I'm going to play the audio one more time because that will be a, a, a little bit easy, the second part. But I want you to like try to like train your brain from the beginning. So are you ready? No, right? But let's move on. Yeah, I'm ready. You're Thank ready you. to rock and roll? Uh, no, 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 no. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Yeah? Yes. I need energy. Come on. Very good. Okay, so let's move on. Let's rock and roll today. Woohoo. Yeah. No <laughs> yeah, exactly. All righty. So let me double check right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me share right now my screen. 
seven, exercise. Do you hear it? Can you listen? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Okay, cool. Exercise eight, word power, mm -hmm. personality traits. Part C, listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Ah, one thing that I'm not going to do, because of course, it's going to be four conversations. It will be four pauses, right? I'm not going to pause in any of them. I will play the four conversation at Let's once. Go Let's go for it. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Two, a coworker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and coworkers presents, and she's so helpful with her time. Three. A teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's happy one minute, and the next minute she's not. Four, a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems like he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Uh-huh. Okay. So tell me. How you will describe the boss? It's hard, right? Aha. Uh -huh. So now I'm going to do something. I will share with you the for a conversation, but at least the title of them and the three possible adjectives that might describe each person, okay? I think that will be a little bit easy. Okay, so just allow me a couple of minutes more. And IT department, if you could be so kind to let me know once everybody receives that information, that would be really helpful. So just allow me a couple of minutes more. Uh, 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 uh. Did you guys receive it? Yes. Yeah, right? Thank you so much, IT department. You're the best. All right. So let me play it one more time. Just allow me a couple of minutes more. Let me share right now my screen. There you go. Ready? Please take what I have sent it to you via WhatsApp. Okay? And then listen and read it. Page 67, Exercise 8, Word Power, Personality Traits, Part C. Listen to four conversations, then check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Two, a coworker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and coworkers presents, and she's so helpful with her time. Three, a teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's happy one minute, and the next minute she's not. Four, a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems like he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Okay, so tell me. The answer. What? Okay. Number one, number one is serious. Number one is serious. What do you think, guys? Are you agree with him? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Number yes. two? Generous. Generous. Generous, of course. Number three? Moody. 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 Uh, yeah. Hopefully, I'm not yeah. moody. 
<laughs> in, mm -hmm. in relative short 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 right yeah mecha yeah. corta i told you very good that's good right okay cool now we continue with the listening part you're doing so fine now this is going to be something else take a look into consideration uh-huh okay guys now you're going to listen like a uh, four people these people oh no three people will be these people are going to answer the question about what kind of work would you like to do and what job does each person talks about so i just want you guys to pay attention on this and listen carefully what kind of work would you like to do and what job does each person talk about got it ready or not ready Let's yes, do it. We're ready. Okay, yes. let's do it on rock and roll. There you go. Let's see what we have here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. You're wondering. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just double checking something. Now I'm going to share it. Oh, your horses. Come on. Whoosh. <laughs> oh, now, 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 yeah. Answer the question, what kind of work would you like to do? Mm -hmm. What job does each person talk about? Well, I think I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. When I was in college, I worked as a reporter for the school website. I really enjoyed writing different kinds of articles. I know what I don't want to do. A lot of my friends work in the stock market, but I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. I don't mind working hard, but I'm terrible under pressure. I'm still in school. My parents want me to be a teacher, but I'm not sure yet. I guess I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I'm also very impatient, so maybe I shouldn't work with kids. Mm-hmm. Is that okay, or you would like me to play it one more time? That's okay. No, what, what about the rest? I know for you, yes, Freddie, but what about for the rest? One more time. Ah, you see, one more time. You can double check what you thought. Page okay. 67, exercise nine, perspectives, job profiles, oh. part A. Listen to these people answer the question, what kind of work would you like to do? Mm -hmm. What job does each person talk about? Well, I think I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. When I was in college, I worked as a reporter for the school website. I really enjoyed writing different kinds of articles. I know what I don't want to do. A lot of my friends work in the stock market, but I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. I don't mind working hard, but I'm terrible under pressure. I'm still in school. My parents want me to be a teacher, but I'm not sure yet. I guess I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I'm also very impatient, so maybe I shouldn't work with kids. Uh-huh. So, it's going back to business. Tell me something. What kind of work would you like to do? What, the first one, what did he mention? Journalist. Journalist. Broker? Journalist. No, the first one. The first one, journalist. Yeah. But why? Yeah. What adjective did he mention that he has? Because he is good writing. Uh -huh. He's a good writing articles. He's a, a reporter. When? High school. Uh -huh. When he was in high school. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good job. Um, all right that he enjoys uh, writing just one type of um, article or different kind of articles? Different. Different. All right, very good. What about number two? What kind of work would you would like to do? Actually, well, it's not a uh -huh. Because she said that um, she, 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 won't, she don't like to be under pressure, but um, uh -huh. she's talking about a stock broker. Stop broker. What that? What is it? To stop broker. What? What is that? Is it um um like like the people that works on Wall Street? Uh huh. Corredor, right? Yeah. All right. 
All righty. Let me let me ask you guys. Did you pay attention about the adjectives that she used uh, to describe herself? Well, some of them she mentioned, but some of them uh, she just basically throw the idea. Why she cannot be a stockbroker? Why not? You don't like to be under pressure. Aha, uh -huh, that's one. What else? Of the decision quickly. Aha. Uh -huh. She can make decisions quickly. And it, does she mind or does she doesn't mind working hard? Uh -huh. She lies, but she can make it. She can she cannot take decisions quickly. Uh -huh. Exactly. She can make decisions quickly. Very good. What about the last one? What type of job she's talking about? Teacher. Teacher, exactly. Because she's still in the school, right? Okay, yes, yes. that is what her parents want possible. her to be. But does she like to be a teacher? No. no. Why not? not really. She is supposedly creative, but she is uh, also impatient. Uh, yeah, so she could be a really nice candidate to work with kids? No. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> not at all. Because you have one characteristic bit, but you're missing another one, right? Yes. So you see that teachers need to be patient with the kids, right? Oh. Yeah. With all the baby boys and baby oh. girls, doesn't it, matter if they're grown up or not. That forgets everything. Uh huh. Yes, especially with forgetful students, you know? Us. Yeah, of course. You see, that's one of the qualities that the teacher must have. You know that it's, it's serious. I I forget things a lot. Yeah, I know. I have noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> so you cannot be a teacher. No. <laughs> well, yeah, you could. You could be if you like use something to write it down, like an agenda, or like a whiteboard, or something like that. Yeah, in that way, yeah. Yeah. So, or, or you are like my husband. He just organize himself like one day before what everything this is going to do uh what time he's going to do something and all the stuff and he has an excel sheet just to like put everything that he has done or if he has like go and buy something or like gas and he spent like a lot of money or something like that in gas everything everything he's like has a like all the all things my in my case no you? i'm not like that no way that's what I do. <laughs> that's what you do? I just, yeah. so, so, so it's good. Yeah. So you are what? You're a reliable person. <laughs> yeah, very good. Excellent. Okay, guys. Now let me ask you something. Let's talk about that. Um, hopefully you remember each person, but I just want to know who are you most like? Who are you most like? The first one, the second one, or the third person. Who are you most like? You know what I'm talking what I'm asking you for? A quien se parece más? Who are you most like? Which person? A mix. A mix. A mix of what? <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. A mix of which first, ones? The first one, I could be good at some things. Uh-huh. And the second one. Sometimes I don't like to be under pressure because uh, I, I, I could be able to do the things, but when i under pressure, some things can come out wrong. Uh -huh. Okay, so you have... And, and the last one, sometimes mm -hmm. I could be short-tempered. Yes, I have noticed that as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> no, okay. That's Freddy's. What about you? I want to hear the rest. Who are you most like or who are your least like? ¿A quién se parece más o a quién se parece menos? Ajá, William. Hey, teacher. He disappeared. I think he disappeared. He disappeared. Ajá, oh. William. Um, with the second one. With the second one. Uh, why? Because, uh, I am good uh, working hard, hard working. But, uh, but sometimes um, I can work under pressure. Ah, uh, okay. Like Freddy's, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. 
Anybody else? Erwin, I don't know, Joshi, Fernando, Doris, Francisco. Anybody? I am the second one. The second one, Joshi, why? I like to work on repression, to be honest. And uh, to be honest with you, I can take decision quickly. Uh -huh. You can make decision quickly. Yes. Ah, so you're not like the second person. Um, more or less. More or less. In so this, you have like yes, a mix. Yes. Ah, okay. What well, more in list? Who are you? You are the most list like. And keep the persons menos. Um, I guess uh, the last one. The last she's one. Creative, but she's impatient. In this case, I learned how to be patient because mm. the way the word that I have. Uh huh. Exactly. I deal yeah. with customer every single day, so I learned how to be patient. To be honest, I yes. am not creative. <laughs> You're not creative. I, no, I am not. Totally right. not. But I, but I am patient. Okay, that's good. That's a good one. Are you agree with her, Kenya, or Kathy? Yes. I'm patient too. I'm, I'm more like the second one too. You wanted the second one as well? Yes, but, but I can work under pressure, I think. You can work under pressure, yes. Okay, very good. A little like more compromise. Uh huh. What about you, Andresito Odoris? Uh, I like to work, but not under pressure too. <laughs> Nobody mm -hmm. loves to work under pressure, mm -hmm. right? Well, for me, the second, the second one, Doris. I hard, I work hard, so hard to. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so pressure. you are working. Yeah, pressure. So you, so you can work under pressure. Yes, I am. I, I have a quickly decision. Every. Ah, so you are not like the second one. You because you can. But because she said, I can't take a quickly decision. Uh -huh. I can't work under pressure, but you can. I can. Very mm -hmm. good, very good. What about you, Telmita? Oh, you are a mix. Mm, I would like this. Um, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, come on, you know. This you side. know. <laughs> no, it, could, it could be a mix because, uh, or if you're I not, always work uh, uh, um, like this <laughs> mm -hmm. is. so maybe you are not you don't have any any like with any of them right maybe mm -hmm. okay I don't have a decision <laughs> no you don't think so I didn't okay? have a decision I don't know no that's okay no problem all right very good guys excellent now I want you to, we're gonna move here to our writing part. Um, and this is going to be really, really important because I wanna ask you something. Do you remember when you apply for the job that you currently are? Actually, I never applied for the job. Well, um, the house and ask me if I wanna work with it. But why they ask you about that? Because basically, they were looking for a person who has the characteristics that you have. Yeah, mm -hmm. Exactly. So you know what? That is part of the communication plan. In the crisis communication plan, imagine, for example, that uh, you're, you have a specific department, right? And you have like hires certain quantity and type of for people's personality for each department. So that is in the part of the communication plan because they need to figure it out what happened if one of these members pass away, for example, what we are gonna do. Depends on the position, what type of person we're going to look for that, uh, that is going to do the job that that person was doing. So all that things is needs to take into consideration when we're making a communication crisis plan. That's a lot of things involved. So uh, we're going to learn, yes, we're going to learn how we can write a good communication or a good job application. That's what we're going to do, okay? Everybody's so serious, I don't know why. <laughs> don't worry i want i need your help guys i need your help 
because I want you to please help me read this part if you don't mind. Uh, let me see. Da -da 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 -da. Yes. Uh, let's see who's going to help me read it. Uh, Francisco, are you there? I think, I think that yes, teacher. Yes, thank you so much. Let me put it a little bit bigger. All right. Can you see it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Do me a favor. Could you please be so kind to read for me the instructions if you don't mind? Okay. Imagine you are applying for one of the jobs. In this unit, write a short cover letter for a, for a job application. Very good. Just repeat this one. You're applying for. You're applying for. Applying apply. for. Applying for. Uh huh. Write a. Write a. Short cover letter. Short cover letter. For a job application. For a job. For a job application. Okay. Do me a favor. Read it one more time for me. Imagine you are applying for a for a of the job. Again, you can Imagine do it. For a apply for. Mm -mm. Again, imagine you are applying for one. You can do it. Imagine for a my. I think you're cutting off, Francisco. Que estás cortando. You're cutting off. Oh. Can you hear me? Uh, now much better. Yes, thank you. Sure. For a yo. You're cutting off again. Is it something with your with your Wi-Fi maybe? Uh. That could be right. Or your microphone. Well, maybe it's the it. Yeah, maybe it's the internet. But the, but but, but the, that's okay. Don't worry, that's okay. Thank you so much for trying. Very good. Just just try to put in places that the letters or the words that I have lighted, and you will be just fine. Very good. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you so much. Fernando, do me a favor. Can you please read the instructions one more time? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine you are applying for one of the jobs in this unit. Write a short cover letter for a job application. Write a, write a short cover letter. Write a, write mm -hmm. a short cover letter for a job application. Very good. Okay, so when you're applying, go oh, ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I know you are so excited and you cannot hide it. That's okay. Okay, continue. Just double check something. Okay. Uh, when you're applying for a job application, the first thing that you gotta do is to put the name of the person that is going through, right? And what type of position does it has and which company, okay? And then, of course, you need the presentation. So do me a favor, read it for me, please. Read the first part. Go ahead. Okay, Mr. Yoshioka, personal director, uh -huh. e executive airlines. Executive airlines, very good. Continue, please. Dear Mr. Yoshioka, I am responding to your recent advertisement in the post for a bilingual international flight attendant. I think. I make a good flight attendant for executive, executive air, airlines because I am very friendly person and I really love traveling. Uh, I also enjoy meeting people. As you can see from your resume, I've had a, a lot of experience working with tourists and I work that. Very good, okay. Now you're going to do me something. We're going to practice just a little bit of the um, words that Recent. I have highlighted. Recent. 
recent. Recent. Recent. Bilingual. Bilingual. Mm -hmm. I make a make a good make a. I, I make a make a make a. very make good. A. As you can see. As you can see. From my resume. From my resume. Yeah. Resume. Uh huh. And this one you think yes, I, I am. I am. I'm a. I'm a, a, a very friendly. I'm a. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm so, not very so friendly. So you're gonna do me friendly. a favor. You need, you will need to start from the beginning. Dear Mr. Joshioka, go ahead. Okay, dear Mr. Yoshioka, I am responding to your recent advertising in the post for a bilingual international flight attendant. Uh -huh. Continue. Uh, I think I've make, made a good flight attendant for executive airlines because I'm, I'm, am I a very friendly person? I really love traveling. I also enjoy meeting people. As you can see from my resume, I've had a lot of experience working with tourists. I worked at. I worked at. Okay, very good. I work it at. I work it at. Remember this I work at. Okay. Work at. Can you please read it for me again? This one, the one that I highlighted. Okay. Advertisement. Very good. You said advertising. Advertisement. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now do me a favor. Guys, apostemos. <laughs> why why you're telling me that teacher okay mr fernando you will read it one more time but i don't want any mistakes oh okay <laughs> okay uh, it doesn't matter i don't want you to speed up i don't want you like blah, blah, blah. no that will comes up what i want right now is that you pronounce it and you pronounce it correctly okay and i'm going to do something just to give you a, a little bit of help um, I'm going to put something that you will need to like uh, pronounce the, it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just the unit sounds. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, and this one. That's the one that I'm going to double check about that. And everybody will help me with the pronunciation. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I am responding to your recent advertisement in the post for a bilingual international flight attendant. I think I've made a good flight attendant for executive airlines because I'm a, I'm a very friendly person and I really love traveling. I also enjoy meeting people. As you can see from my resume, I've had a lot of experience working with tourists I work at. Very good. Very good job, sir. Excellent. Give me a dollar five, my man. Woo. All righty. Who's next? Next victim? And Madeline, you want to try, girl? Yes, me. Go ahead. Uh, they're Mr. Yoshiba. Yep. Yoshioka. Yeah. Yoshioka. Mm -hmm. They're Mr. Yoshioka. I am responding to your recent advertisement in the post for a bilingual international flight attendant. I think I'd make a good flight attendant for execu executive airlines because I'm a very friendly person and I really love traveling. I also enjoy meeting people, as you can see from my resume. I've, I've had a lot of experience working with tourists. I worked at. Very good. I work it at. I work it at. Do me a favor. Read it one more time, please. I'm responding to your recent advertisement in to the your, post. For a, to your recent. 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 I responded. I responded your to your recent advertisement in the post for a for a bilingual international flight attendant. I think I'd make a good flight attendant for ex executive airlines because I'm I'm a very friendly person and I really love traveling. I also enjoy meeting people, as you can see from my resume. I, I've 
had a lot of experience working with tourists. I I work it up. Uh -huh. Very good. I, now I want you to do me a favor. I just want you to try to read it, but not like if you are actually reading it. I just want you like when you read, you sound more self confidence. Especially this one, flight. You said flight attendant, flight attendant, flight attendant. All together, I have a lot of, lot of, lot of experience. Lot of you joined it. You joined it. That sounds lot of experience. Work it at, work it at. That's what I want. Recent advertisement. Read it. I I know that you're doing. Oh, and executive executive airlines. When you read it, try to you pronounce it good. But now. I want that you work on self-confidence when you're reading. Do it one more time. You can do it. I am re I am responding to your recent advertisement in the post for bilingual international flight attendant. I think I'd make a good flight attendant for executive airlines because I'm a very friendly person and I really love traveling. I also meet people. As you can see from my resume, I had a lot of a lot of experience working with tourists. I work here. Very good. Now I want you just to pronounce for me from the says, I also until work it out. Because when you pronounce it, you forgot to mention enjoy. So do, do can do it. Go ahead. I am responding to you. No, 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 there, no, there. So oh, okay. I am, I'm also enjoying from that. I also enjoy meeting people. Mm -hmm. Continue. Uh, I also uh, I also enjoy meeting people. As you can see from my resume, I've had a lot of a lot of experience working with tourists. I work it. I work it up. Aha! Uh -huh. Pronounce this one for me. Working with what? Tourists. 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 There's an S at the end. Tourists. Don't forget yeah. the S. Very good. Good job. Very good, Madeline. Now he feels more bad, much better. Self-confidence. That's what I need. Very good job, girl. Thank Very you. good job. Freddie, now's your turn. Go ahead. Ha, he's chatting. Hmm. No, I wasn't chatting. Ah no, I saw you. You were like <laughs> no, I was looking at the phone on something Uh-huh. What a customer. No, no, I'm just teasing. Yeah, go ahead. So messages from from my I have a boss. So okay, different, different message. So that's okay. Don't worry. Go ahead. Okay, what do you want me to read? The whole Everything. Okay, I don't know the name exactly, Mister Yo Yoshiko. Yoshioka. Yoshioka. <laughs> Yoshioka. Yeah. Mr. Yoshioka, personal director, executive airlines. Dear Mr. Yoshioka, Yoshioka, I am responding to your recent advertisement in the post for a bilingual international flight attendant. I think I make a good flight attendant for executive airline because I'm a very friendly person and I really love traveling. I also enjoy meeting people. As you can see from my re resume, I had a lot of experience working with tourists I work at. Uh -huh. I work Just do me a favor. Remember that is personal director. Director. Uh -huh. Resume. Uh, that's how you say it, resume. Resume, that's a French word. Resume. That is like CV in Spanish. Curriculum. Resume. All right. Very good. You actually, you actually say like like I was reading. Yeah. Resume. <laughs> resume. Yeah. You see, we have two accents here. The first one and the second one. Resume. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we we use a, and that that is a a good or oh, oh, accent accent to agudo. We have a good, we have grave, we have circumflex, we have the zerige. 
this uh -huh. all right very good good job excellent okay last big team joshi go ahead okay teacher dear mr joshuaka i have responded to your recent advertisement in the post for a bilingual international flight attendant i think i will make a good flight attendant for a security airline because i am a very friendly person and I really love traveling. I also enjoy meeting people. As you can see from my resume, I have had a lot of experience working with tourists I work at. With tourists? Tourists. Recent. Tourism. Executive. Executive. Work it at. Work it up. Very good, very good. Okay, guys. We are practicing the um, reading, but at the, you see, reading is not just reading. We need to like focus on the reading and the speed, the intonation, etc. So now that you already have read what might look like a job application, this is what I want you to do. And you're gonna work together right now regarding that. Basically, what I want you to do is that you're gonna exchange your papers. For example, let me ask you something. If you receive this letter, the one that, that we have just recently read, would you invite the applicant for a job interview? The letter that you have recently read, if you, if you imagine that you are the one from the HR department, like it has to, to do the interviews, right? So if you have received this letter that we have just read, would, would you invite that person for a, an interview? Yes or no? And if it's yes, I wanna know why. And if it's not, I wanna know why not. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, but don't, don't worry, you're going to work together. So let's see, uh, 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 uh. it will be 17, right? Okay, so how many pairs should I do? No, I'm going to create only four groups right now. Okay, please accept the invitation. I want you guys to work on this right now. I want you to guys to give me a reasons why you will say yes and why you will say not. I just I just recently sent to the WhatsApp the letter that we have just read. And uh, so you can have it handy. What I want you to do is if you receive this cover letter for a job application, would you invite a, the applicant for a job interview? Most of you say yes. So if you say yes, I want to know why. And if you say not, I want to know why not. Okay, ¿me entienden lo que van a hacer? Sí, lo que acaban de recibir es una job application, sí, se los acaban de mandar por WhatsApp. Hagan de caso que ustedes son el HR department, sí, y ustedes recibieron esa job application de este fulanito. So, en términos de esto, si ustedes tuvieran que entrevistar, ustedes um, llamarían a esta persona para una entrevista. De acuerdo a esta job application que acaban de recibir, sí o no y por qué. That's what I want to know. Got it? Yeah. Okay. I will give you like I need um, four reasons. If it's yes and four reasons if it's no. But a good and valid reasons, okay? Huh. Démosle pues. Let's continue working. Let me double check the other guys, okay? You understand? Yeah or no? 
Josecito, Doris, Madeline, Kenya, Blanquita. Can you repeat the instructions? Yes. Okay. The, the job application, I sent it to you the WhatsApp right now. Everybody has in the WhatsApp right now. Yes. I sent it to you for you to have it handy. So this is what I want you to do. Let's pretend, guys, that you are the HR department, okay? And you're, of course, you're in charge to interview the possible candidates for a specific position. So you have received a job application, and I wanted to know if you are going to um, ask that person for an interview, or yes or no. And if you just say yes, why? And if you say no, why not? Doris, do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's what I want to know. Blanquita, Madeline, Josue, Kenya, do you understand? Yes. I need, guys, I need, my pleasure, I need at least four reasons why yes and four reasons why not, right? If it's yes, four reasons. If it's not, four reasons. If, if you will invite the applicant for a job interview, that's what I want to know. Okay, let me double check right now with the other guys. How many time we do have? Okay. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Anderson, will you? Do you or you don't? No? Okay, I just recently sent you to the WhatsApp the job application that we have recently read. Yeah, ready. Just for you to have it handy, right? So this is what I want you to do. You are the HR department, right? And you have recently received this job application. So basically what I want you to do is to let us know that if you would invite the applicant for a job interview, if you would invite it, of course it's going to be yes, right? And yes. Of, But if it's yes, four reasons why you will invite that person. And if it's not, I need a four reasons as well, okay? Okay. okay, cool. Let me double check the other guys. Erwin, are you, you know what you're going to do? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. All right, let me double check the other guys. Double check really quickly. All right. See you later. Hi, guys. Do you understand? Are you clear about what you're going to do? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So basically, I just need. If you're going to invite that person for an interview after receiving the job application, because you're an HR department, I just want to know to provide me four reasons why yes, or four reasons why not. Okay? Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, it's 9.28, let's meet about 9.35, 9.40, okay? Okay. Okay, we already mentioned the reason we miss one. Okay. What do you think? What is another thing important for that? What are the characteristics that we have? She is friendly. Yes. She has yes. experience. And She's the level. Available. We have to check the bilingual. The level of the. The knowledge. The knowledge about what? About um it's like to experience about the the specific job. Mm -hmm. Because if you, if you need employees, a uh, doctor or a uh, engineer, are those are about a uh, different.
No. Okay, so we have she has experience, she's friendly, she's failing well. Passion. Hmm? Por passion, paciente. Maybe you need to talk with your. She loves traveling too. Did you finish already, guys? I think yes. yes yep. All right. You yes. think yes, Mr. Jeremy? All right. Let me double check the other guys really quickly before we okay. join together, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I just want to know if you already have finished. Yes, me. Yeah? Me. Okay. Cool. Let me double check the other guys really quickly as well. Okay, me. Guys, ready? Yeah? Or no? Fernandito, Katia, Glendy, Delmita, did you finish? Yes. Okay, let me double check the other guys. I think we're going to come back together, okay? Okay. There you go.
Okay. Okay, I'm waiting for the rest of the guys. So just allow me a couple of minutes more. There you go. There you go. All righty, I'm still missing guys here. I, I only have seven people. I love your profile picture, Glendy. I love it. I love how your eyes look. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, you look like a taco girl. <laughs> <laughs> you look gorgeous. You look gorgeous. <laughs> hey, talking about that, gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to ask you some questions. Let me double check if you can answer them. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I think everybody's here, right? Now I'm missing one person right now. There you go. Uh, guys, let me ask you. Um, when a girl is uh, beautiful. Yeah, am I listening? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 this is the first one that you're, yeah, that who wants, right? Yeah, I, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We use the, the adjective gorgeous, right? Yeah. Uh huh, and when the when the man is really woof like Brad Pitt or something like that, we we'll use the adjective handsome, right? Handsome, yeah. Uh huh, but let me ask you guys: Is there an adjective that we can use for both? Good looking. Exactly, Joshi. Very good. Good looking. Good looking. Yes. Good looking is we can use for a girl and for a boy. Okay, just as a friendly reminder. Okay, now guys, let's go back to business. How was the, uh, the, the activity? It was good. Was it interesting? Hmm? Yeah. All right, so tell me something. We, we made four groups. So I just want to know, is everybody agreed that we'll um, ask this applicant for an interview or no? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. everybody say yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. So everybody's agreed that they will give them opportunity. Okay. I'll give her opportunity. Depends. So now I want to listen the reason why. Um, let me check. Fernando, you work with who? Telma. Uh, Telma. Uh, Glenda. Glendy. Uh, I didn't remember the others. <laughs> Very good. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> He's forgetful. Well, Definitely. You see? <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. You, so you're not the only one. You have a power. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So <laughs> forgetful number two. <laughs> uh, okay, Fernando. So, <laughs> so you said with Telmita, with Glendy, and with somebody else, right? That you don't remember who, okay? That you will <laughs> that you will give this applicant an opportunity, right? For an interview. Can you please let me know one reason for that? Uh, one reason. Yeah, one well, reason. Uh, maybe the the fears, the fears that the first, we, the first. fears that we we saw was the, for example, the, the reduction of the letter. The way he uh, redact the letter or yes, present his the, ideas. The, the way because the, that was very structured, uh -huh. structured and very with well the, uh, uh, you can understand that he he could want to to set set us. Aha. Uh -huh. I got uh, your idea. Uh -huh. That yes. is reason number one. What yes. about reason number two, Glenda? I said for reasons. The intention for the for the job. Uh huh. Uh, she has a lot of experience, but. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, that's a good one. Telmita, reason number three, please. Oh, your horse is teacher. <laughs> uh -huh, she found. 
Well, uh, the reason is is because uh, uh, he loves traveling. He loves traveling. Okay, and, and what was the application for? Um, what is the job position? Remember? Uh, Remember, guys? Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Uh -huh. And what's the name of the company? Uh, Uh, you have it there. Come on. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Executive. Aha, aha, aha. Executive so airline. Executive airlines. Very good. Good job. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Good job. And the, and the last reason, Fernando. Thank you, Delmita. You're the best. Well, uh, he, he, he wants to, well, he wants Went to went to to, to work. And he loved he loved work in her place, her place. Uh -huh. And he he sent his resume. That oh. is uh, always uh, usually you have to to revise the the, the resume review. Review. So you 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 have to review the the resume for when you are hiring a people. Uh -huh. That is the, 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 the last step. Uh, sometimes you have to do a technical proof or uh -huh. some technical. exams, technical proofs, some exams, uh, and maybe a second interview after that. Mm -hmm. You're right about that because if it's a bilingual, there's always a yes, language interview, right? I can write a lot of things that uh -huh. maybe for selling me. Uh, or copy paste from Google, right? That, that, that Google knows everything, right? Yes, yes I have to confirm <laughs> the abilities of the, of the person exactly. that they describe in, in his letter. Exactly, yes, because you could be copy paste, but in <laughs> real life, you will you will show what your what your job application oh. what message was if it was true or false. Very good, excellent. Now I think, Fred, is you were with Erwin, right? Yes. And, and with who? Uh, Will, William. With William, right? Yeah. Okay, so I want to hear. You say yes, right? You will give yes. me an opportunity. I just want to know the first reason why. Well, the first reason is because in my case, I think everyone is have an opportunity. Uh-huh. Everyone I'm deserves. Kind of person, I'm, I'm not the kind of person that I'll be looking for a person that is well presented or a person that has to be recommended from another person. Aha, uh -huh, so that's a good one. That's a good point. So, so you're open minded. Open. Yeah, because you cool. never know the qualities of the other person. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. That's a good point. What about a second option or a second reason, Alex? Uh, the person has the, the experience for the job. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, it's very good. Number three, Erwin, what's another reason why you say yes to that person? Oh, uh, listen to the interview. First interview, actually. Yes, but the, you, have, you can use it in marketing personal. Uh -huh. you have an interview, but uh, you have to analyze that the personal is true. Okay? Mm -hmm. To give you the, 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 the liar person. Yeah? Okay. Because in El Salvador, there are many people who are liar person. Yeah? Uh -huh. But you have to find the other, other, you have to find how the people express, you can. Uh, to try to watch it, try to, to will watch in Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, other uh, social media, you can, you can, you can you will try to find that person. Exactly. And, and uh, many years ago, it's, uh, other other company, uh, when we don't have a, a social media marketing, uh, uh -huh. we uh, visit. Uh -huh. the, the house, the house, the neighbors, uh -huh. and the, 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 the person and speak with the neighbors. Really? It, yes. You you did that also? Woof. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, they, they 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 did it in, with the person. It has a strategy. With, uh, it's all a strategy, but it's it's good functional. Oh, and, and okay. I, many years ago, it's a it's a innovation. You should be like that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So you were like was... investigating a lot from that yes. person, right? Yes. Ooh. Wow. Yes, yes. Because it's so important when you have a, a one 
Well, people. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, you're right about that. Yes. Because. So you need to make sure what type of person you're hiring, right? Yes. It's so difficult. Definitely. Yeah. Is difficult. For, for yeah. example, for example, in in in, in one strategy, uh, Diana, to mm -hmm. the of Diana, mm -hmm. all the personal that work here, all the personal are friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We began Diana 15 years ago. Uh -huh. Only, only uh, went at Diana work, only the friends. If you have friends, but for example, Carlos, oh, we need a secretary. Hey, Carlos, do you, do, you, do you know who is a secretary? Yeah, my, my, my wife or my, 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 okay. my uh, and the chores. Oh, okay. Really? Yes, yes. yes. So, so it's, just, it's just one, 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 it's just, it was it was a good strategy in general. Mm -hmm. Only friends, only friends, only friends, only friends, and continue, okay? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not too good. Right? Yes, sometimes it's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good one. Very good. And the last one, Freddy? Thank you, Erwin. We... The last one. Yeah. It looks like it's an enthusiastic person and, a, and it's friendly. So that's good because it will be patient with the, with the with the persons, it actually says he loves traveling, so uh -huh. he has been in another place, so he knows a lot of different cultures, so he will be able to be um, handle many things with, with the customers. Uh -huh. Exactly, you're right about that. He didn't mention that he has a family, or she has a family, right? No. He, uh -huh. That would be a moss as well. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent. All righty, thank you so much. Uh, now I have... Uh, Jarvin, you work with who? Jarvin. Hello. Okay, I was working with Jocelyn. With Joshi, uh huh. Andres. Andresito. And Fernando. And Fernando. Okay. So you said that you will hire, you will give them uh, this person an opportunity for a first interview, right? So I just want to know the reason why. What's the first reason? Okay, the first reason. For me, he check the professional attitude uh -huh. because he says he is friendly, he uh -huh. loves traveling, uh -huh. he, he, he likes to meet a, a new person. Uh -huh. That's good. So you, so you can check how he act because maybe for some person, so very friendly is bad. Mm -hmm. You have to be a professional when you are working. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. All right, excellent. What about a uh, second situation or second reason why, Andresito? Uh, because this is a, a bilingual job, so uh -huh. uh, the company has to check the English level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good one. Very good. And uh, what about reason number three, Yoshi? She loves traveling, but it's really good that she will enjoy working because she loves traveling. She's doing what she really likes. Exactly. Very good. Reason number four, I think Jarvin, right? Oh, Francisco, no, Francisco. Okay. Ah, no, Francisco, no. You work yes. with Francisco, right? Where is Francisco, by the way? I think he has a technical issues, maybe. All righty. So Jarvin, okay, it's your time. Go ahead. Okay. And the letter he put that he has a lot of experience working at. Uh -huh. So you have, you can check your experience. Very good. Excellent. Good job. All right. And last but not least, I think Blanquita. Blanquita, you were working with uh, Kathy, right? And Kenya and Madeline. Dori. Ah, and Dori, sorry, may I apologize. All right, so you said also yes, right? Okay, I just want to know the reason why. I need the first one, please. Uh, the first is a uh, he is a uh, or she is a bilingual. Uh -huh, very good. And you gotta be right if you're doing a flight attendant. Okay, very good. What are reason number two, Blanquita? Thank you, Doris. Blanquita, reason number two, please, if you don't mind. 
Blanquita, I think he stood up and went for a cup of coffee. That could be. Madeline, what about you? Well, I think that is an interesting person and I would like to know something else about her or him. Ah, very good. Kathy, what about you? Hello, teacher, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I um well, I get the communication skill and interpersonal skill because I think it's really important when you're uh, around other people mm -hmm. and also the fact that it's in an international environment. So I, I imagine that he can handle or she can can't handle can handle sorry a lot of languages or a lot of accents of the English. So, Very good. Yeah. Hey, that's a good one. Kenny, what about you? The last one. I will definitely give him an opportunity to show all areas that he has right in the resume. He, he has a really great resume, actually, and I will give him the opportunity because he is friendly as he's right. And when you are working in that type of jobs, you need to be friendly and kind. Very good. You're right about that. Nice. Excellent. Good job, guys. Now we still have time. And this in the in this time that we still left, I just want you to let me know. Uh Fernando, eh, you like the job that you are right now, right? Or would you like yes, to, to, to apply for something else? Uh, well, uh, in my area, there are many like a web developer. Many, maybe? Many branches uh -huh. that I can change. Many but, areas, for yeah, example. Many areas, but uh, for example, we, we have a database, we have developers, we have project managers, uh -huh. we have but, product, product owners. But which one would you like to apply for? Uh, currently, actually, I am a, a developer, but maybe it's in the future, I, I would like to apply to, to a tech lead or uh maybe product manager but uh, the developer maybe uh, uh, we are the the, op the, the operat operative operative yes uh we 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 do the 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 top words sometimes and uh -huh. the, the project manager have they have to the project managers ha they have to to coordinate all the developers' uh, planifications, uh -huh. uh, to the, uh, define the activities to do, uh, uh -huh. take the control of the project, the the, the, the deliveries, all, all that things, but they don't develop. Uh -huh. Yeah, of develop. course, it's different. Okay, so let's pretend that you would like to apply for a tech manager in the future, maybe. Yes. Okay, leave it at that. Tech manager. Okay, very good. Andresito, what about you? Sorry, teacher. I just want to know what type of job would you like to do? I like the job that I'm doing. What What are you doing? I uh, register. Reg register. Okay, very yeah. good. Okay, cool. Uh, thank you. T take it into consideration. Register and tech lead. Okay, Delmita, what about you? Um, what about me? Mm -hmm. um, Do you like what you're doing or would you like to apply for a different type of job? What will be your ideal job? A good job. Uh huh. Your ideal job for you. Your dream job. Uh, <laughs> Just pick mm, one. I can say what is my dream because I. <laughs> no, because hypothetically. Uh, don't worry. Um. Uh, <laughs> um. I would like to. To um, executive in um, in administration. Executive administrator. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. Leave it like that way. Very good. William, what about you? Don't turn off your camera. <laughs> You're about to eat a watermelon. I know that. Okay. What about you? Um, Dream job. Manager. manager? As a manager. Manager. Okay, cool. Very good. Doris, what about you? I, I like a photograph. Photographer. Oh, very good. All right. What about you, Erwin? Your, your dream job? Yeah, yes. Is it marketing? Yes. Marketing? Okay, cool. Okay. Leave it alone there, my girl. Okay, Joshi, what about you? Uh, you your microphone is off. Oops. <laughs> I would like to work with the government, like security administrator. Ah, security administrator, the government. But which which department? Communication department. Which department? Any department. Any department. Any department. Okay. Department would be okay. Cool. All righty. Very good. Francisco, what about you? Frank, your dream job. Hopefully, Francisco is working fine because I don't see. I I I, I can't see him, but I don't know if he yes. listens to me. Hello, Hi. teacher. Hello, sir. Tell me, Sorry. what is your dream job? Uh, maybe in the custom. Customs. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Sorry, my internet is very bad. Don't worry. Hopefully, you'll be in the airport so you can help me with customs. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you're in no, trouble. No, in other custom. Ah, there. okay. A different area. All righty. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Glendy, what about you? Glendy, hello. hello. Um, what about you? What will be your dream job? Um, my dream job, like um, I don't know really. I don't know. You should know. I'm happy with my. <laughs> okay, so what do what do you do? I'm a accountant. You you're a what? A accountant. A accountant. A accountant. 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 Ah, accountant. Okay, cool. Very good. Take it like that way. Okay, leave it that way. Ready? <laughs> what about you? What will be your dream job? My dream job will be like, like Luisitos Comunica. Be traveling and learning some co new cultures and make reports from uh, different countries. Oh. Uh, for right. people who be visiting the, their countries and actually it's like I think it's like promoting some for more tourists for yeah, the country. Yeah, right? tourist promotion. All right, very good. Excellent. It's like a YouTuber. I like a YouTuber, right? Yeah, he will have his own page. Okay, that's good. I'm and a lot of likes. Number one fan. <laughs> yeah, very good. Okay, okay, very good. Blanky, what about you? Blanky, thank you. Hello. Hello, I just want to know mm -hmm. what will be your dream job. Mm, for me, so I don't know if, if it has a name, but I want to be a, a tester of hotel around the world. <laughs> Ooh, so you can work with Freddy's. <laughs> yeah, you, you will be a perfect team, actually. A perfect yeah, match. I want to be a, a tester. Uh, how they treat the they treat the people uh -huh. and, and maybe the people Ooh. and the work have to give me the the I don't know how to say all the the the, the work no all the the spends uh -huh. uh, ah okay so I think I you you're going to do a perfect a perfect team with Freddy's you and Erwin because you will need marketing department for sure. Definitely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank you. What about you, Josuecito? My dream job is journalist. The job that I, I have because it's interesting. Is I don't, but I, but I like it. Ah, okay. So, so you would like to do what you're currently at right now? Yeah. That's your dream job. Okay, and what is your dream job? What is your job actually? I I work as an operator system. 
Ah, uh, okay. x-ray machine. Oh, that's nice. Interesting. All right, very good. Thank you, Josecito. Kathy, what about you? In my in my dream team in a job would be traveling around the world and working uh, at a special area, like uh, um, in repairing, I don't know how to say repairing uh, uh, airplanes or ah. cars, or maybe in a presa hidráulica. Oh my gener God. Generando energy. Energy, ooh, that's cool. Yeah, I would like to be in some of these kind of jobs. Would be awesome for me. Yeah, it would yeah. be really nice. Thank you so much. Natalie, what about you, girl? I would like to be like a teacher and Hi, thank uh, you. traveling to different places and uh, teaching the language. Very good. That's a good one. Uh, Jari, what about you? I really like what I do. You really like what you do? Yes. Okay, so that's awesome. You, you, he's a supervisor. Okay. <laughs> and last but not least, Kenya, what about you? I would like to be a boss. <laughs> a what? A boss. A boss? Yeah. Uh, yes, eh? <laughs> okay, that's cool. Yeah, why not, right? You can ask for some advice uh, to Mr. Uh, Jarvis. Oh, yeah, that would yeah, be good. that would be good, right? Okay, so why I'm asking you that type of question? This is gonna be your homework for tomorrow, and I don't want any excuse. The oops, I did it again. Yeah, no way. Okay, I want you to do a cover letter for a job application. Same exactly what you have done today, what you have read because you, you were like the HR department, right? Now you gotta be in a different side. You gotta change the side, the position right now. Now you are the job application for tech lead, for uh, customs, for traveling around the world, for hotel testers, for marketing, I don't know, for teacher, anything, for accountant. I just want a cover letter. And I need only one paragraph. That's enough for me. One paragraph. That's okay. In my case, who will be directed to? What? In my case, who to who will be direct the letter to? Uh, dear Inglés Corporativo. Why? Just that. Because we are we are in Inglés Corporativo Academy. Ah, okay. That's the reason why. Ah, why? <laughs> now he's not forgetful, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> just teasing. <laughs> All right. I just need that. And tomorrow we'll let you know what we are going to do with it. What's the homework for tomorrow? What's the homework for tomorrow? Come on. <laughs> just forgot. Come on. Don't worry. Okay. What's the homework for tomorrow, guys? Everybody my God, everybody's forgetful. <laughs> I'm not the only one. You're not the only one. So you, you gotta be happy about it. Yeah. Uh-huh. And you want you wanna describe me, my experience, so no. Or no. No. A cover letter for a job application. Okay. Like the example that you have read in the in the WhatsApp. Like that example, that's what I need. But related to the job that you would like to be, for example, Erwin is trying to apply for a marketing agent. Fernando for a tech lead, right? Freddy's for what? For a YouTuber. Kind of like a YouTuber. Yeah, you are like that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dottie's for an accountant, for example, I don't know. And Jarvin for a supervisor, yeah, that's what I want. So it will be a different type of cover letter, actually. All righty? Yes. And guys, please do me a favor. Try to put a, some adjective that we have seen today related to personality, okay? That is really, really important for me. All righty.
time of five. So it's gotta be, it's gotta be to say goodbye. I'm sorry for that inconvenience. Let's see who am I going to go to be with. I think we're ready to talk with all of you, right? I think so. Let's see who I'm still missing here. Mm -mm 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 no, I have talked with all of you. No, you're missing Blanca. Blanky, are you sure? I think so. No, we're talking about <laughs> uh, the pronunciation. Yeah, we are we already talk. No, I mean, ah, yes, we, we, we already have a one-on-one -on -one session, right? Yeah. You see? So I, I already have spoken with, with all of you. But if you want, we can just do like a, a recap or a second round. Why not, right? Okay, cool. So I'm going to stay with Fernando today. Bye, guys. <laughs> okay. That was good. <laughs> Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Don't go, Bye. Fernando. All righty. <laughs> Please don't go. Don't go. Don't go away. Woo. <laughs> Bye, Doris. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i don't know what happened to me today i think too much coke <laughs> all righty <laughs> okay how you doing my man fine uh i'm a little tired but fine a little tired but fine yeah how was your day today yeah it was a busy day really why a lot of work to do uh, uh yesterday we with the team, we have uh, we had, the, we had uh, a meeting with with our boss Timmy. for for presenting mm. our our progress in the last three months. Okay. Yes, that, so that, you review uh, your metrics actually. Yes, uh, was was fine, was great with, for all of, but uh, uh, we have to. To accelerate or or develop for sometimes for something that uh, we are uh, delayed. Okay, so you you basically you they already let you know what you're doing good, but what which areas you will need to improve right now, right? Because you have a timeline, I think time frame. Yes, yes, and we have to to deliver some features of or app to the customers, mm -hmm. uh, and so we have to to accelerate or develop. <laughs> Very good, excellent. Tell me, how do you feel right now about these topics for this week, so far? Uh, and, uh, and entertainment, entertainment. Entertainment, oh, television. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, entertainment or interesting? Interesting, interesting. Ah, okay, for, like this, for this case, okay. interesting. Ah, okay, interesting. Why is interesting? Yes. We are. Uh, we know how to how to apply uh, to a new job, uh, but we don't know some words or the the way to to express ourselves in a in a letter. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to read and to speak about that, because, for example, uh, I re I read uh, a lot of job application on LinkedIn, for example. You had read. I have read. I have read. So I have read uh, uh, a lot of application on LinkedIn and sometimes uh, HR recruiters uh, uh, wrote me for if I am interested in a, in a job application. I read ah, okay. all the all the profile that they are looking, looking for. for. Mm -hmm. Then. I read uh, some words that I I I don't I didn't know, mm -hmm. for example, and uh, I have to 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 learn a lot of the vocabulary because that is maybe the, I, I have a lack I had lack of vocabulary. I, you, I know uh, that but, is but a, improving. a for improve. Yes, but you are improving a lot because you're learning a lot of vocabulary. Especially today, right? Adjectives. Yes, in my case, I I almost uh, don't have time to to 
to read English sometimes in in at, at lunch after lunching or I know I I drive in the traffic every day <laughs> around uh, two hours and oh my I, God. I wake up can... early I get home late so oh it's my God. difficult I... but I yes. I'm trying to do my best every day <laughs> yeah and that it shows yes it shows your commitment so congratulations because you're doing a really excellent job yes Sometimes I, you're sleepy and sometimes I bother you, but I know that you're sleepy not because you don't want to be in a class, you're sleepy because you're tired. That, that definitely to, is true. To be honest, I I don't I don't uh, I I just, I am not sleepy. Uh, sometimes I am paying attention to uh, work that I am doing. So it's, ah. it looks like I, I am sleepy, but no, I, I am ah, you're still I working. Like, Yes, I am. Ah, For example, okay, got it. Got it, got it. Uh, there, there is a book and I don't know what is happening that in the application and ah, I am okay. looking for, for that book and it mm -hmm. looks like I am like sleeping. You're sleeping, but you're not. Okay, cool. No, I'm not. Any feedback for me for this week? No, no. For me, excellent. Uh, Say it right now or sip it forever. <laughs> Just kidding. No. No. Yeah, everything is okay. For me, everything is okay. Okay. Ah, maybe. Ah, aha. Uh -huh. You see? Ah, uh -huh. the best. Yes. For for uh, for me. For you. Uh, sometimes I I like to to when that the, you 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 did in when I I I was reading. Uh huh. Co uh, you say correct? Como, correct como, yourself. Yes. When I am reading or, or when I, I am speak after speaking, you can give me a feedback with the words that I am was wrong in uh -huh. the pronunciation, or maybe I for sometimes you 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 understand that I am I am trying to say, but I didn't wrong mm -hmm. in some words. Mm -hmm. Maybe it, after speaking you. You can correct us uh -huh. with the word that we we didn't say correctly or the pronunciation was wrong. Maybe it's only that, only that. Uh, so so today you will you like it because I, I left you speak and then after that I correct you. Is that what you said? Yes. Ah, Just because okay, I need okay, a sometimes I need a feedback because I for me, I you understand me for me it was good, but uh, I I I am I know that some words I I that I said was in was wrong in the pronunciation or maybe was wrong in in the in the in the way or in the context. Uh, ah, I don't got know. it. So you want me to do more things like that? Yes. Uh, okay. Correct. Correct me as after speaking. Uh, for me, is we. Uh, we, it's going to be great. Okay, so you already gave me the license? Oh, forget about it, man. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, I know you're tired. Maybe you have to still work in or have a, a dinner, I don't know. But I really appreciate it. You took the time for the one-on-one -on -one session today. Okay, hopefully we can see each other together tomorrow. So hugs and kisses. Have a lovely night. Bye. Good night. Good night.